In this video, I want to show you a little bit more of an advanced method of adding notches to curved sections. And um, hopefully you've watched the first two videos in this series, which is, is a build up to this and shows you a couple of other methods. So I've, what I've done is I've taken my pattern piece, I have snipped with the scissor tool here and here, and I've snipped here and here. And I've just changed the colour of the lines to make it stand out. And I've taken a copy of this and popped it over there and a copy of that and popped it there. And it's quite simple to do if you just hold the option key down and just pull up and hold the option key there and just pull up. And it would be the Alt key on a PC. I'm on a Mac. I've also created some double notches because it's the back. And I just, if you watch my previous videos you'll know how to create the notch and to create the double notch it's command C and command F to copy one in front and then I just press enter to get my move box and I want this notch to move up 90 degrees and horizontally nothing and it's going to be I want it to just move up 5 mil and just copy so that gives me my, my double notch and I'm just going to use a command in G or it would be control and G to group them. So in my quest for the perfect notch, as you know, or you may have discovered or maybe not yet discovered, there isn't a tool that will place a point along a curved line or in fact a line in Illustrator. There isn't a tool that does that. So as pattern cutters, we need to have a workaround and I've already given you previously in the first two videos, two, two other workarounds. So this is another um, thing that in my quest for the perfect notch I discovered. I decided to Google how many points in a centimetre. And if I pop in one there, it gives me 28.3465. If we go to inches, how many points in an inch is even better it's a nice round number, it's 72. So I work in centimetres, so I'll go back to centimetres. But it doesn't matter, you can work in whatever. So let's have a look at how many points in five centimetres. And it's that many. So I'm just going to copy that, Command C. Or Control C if you're on a PC. So now if we take this line and we go to the stroke and I'm going to use a dashed line and in the first dashed line I'm going to put the point value that I copied so command V and in the second one my maximum is a thousand so I'm going to pop a thousand in and just click away so I, my lines there but I know that that is where my five centimeters ends I'm just going to do a command and plus here and go right in and right right in because I, I want this to be as accurate as possible. I'm going to use a scissor tool now and I'm just going to clip there right on the end. Okay so now if I just go use my direct selection tool and just select that portion of the line I'll change the color let's change it to red so you can see that hopefully that's five and that's the rest so if I just measure that I'm going to select it go to document info and it's virtually there it's 4.9992 it's like a, it's it's a hair off so I'm I'm pretty satisfied with that I've never had one <laughs> perfect, but one day. So let's just pop that away, command and minus. So now if I grab these, I bring them down, I've already grouped them. And I get them here. I'm just going to go right in. I'm going to Oh, let me start to rotate them before I get there. So I'm going to use the rotation tool here and I'm going to rotate from there and on this point. So get them kind of lined up. Keyboard shortcut V and just get that and 
pop that either side of there perfectly so I know I separated those if I wanted to I could have the first one starting on the gap it's up to you it's entirely up to you I quite like to separate them like that but you make your own decision as long as you keep track of the measurement and the closer you go in the more you can see so let's just straighten that up a bit so rotation tool click on there and I just want to kind of pull that round slightly to make sure that's as even as it can be and it seems to be so command and minus and then what I can do now is just drag a box around those and actually take off now this this stroke so go in and untick the stroke so we get the whole line back let's just move those out of the way and I'm just going to group those so drag a box around command and G and I'm going to use this as a template it works much better than so I'll pop that on there I'll lock it so command and two to lock and then I can redraw the notches in um, so we can do the same thing with the sleeve now I just want to show you something that may happen with the sleeve so let's just um, apply the same thing so I'm going to go to the dash line and it didn't keep it so I'm just going to command and V and then put the thousand in and then click out now can you see that what it's done it's applied the five here to this end I didn't want it to I wanted it to come from this end so that and you can see the sleeves there and that's thousand in the middle that you can't see the thousand points and that's the five centimeter points worth so if I'm just select that there go to object path and reverse path direction so once I click on that it reverses the path direction because the path direction was that way before now it's this way and I can that's my five centimeters so command and plus if I just click on those there it's going to zoom right in in that area whatever's selected it zooms in on that area as much as I can to my scissor tool and then let me go in again I just want to I'm going for my absolute spot on and there you go I've snipped there so I'm just going to go to here let's change that to blue it doesn't really matter which color and let's measure this section so let's just do a command and minus to get out we can also go in and let's just take the dash line off as well so this is the section I want to measure on my template so we'll go to document 4.9949 still didn't make it one day so I'm going to go in command and plus pick up my my double notches let's just start to orientate them now so click on there and click on there and then keyboard shortcut V to go to the selection tool and again I'm popping them on there and just let's move them on so that we they're perfect on there Now I can't see them so I can go to my object and arrange and bring to front so I can see them a bit better because I, I don't want to guess and then that's equal that looks good let me see no it's not quite because you can see there it's touching there and not touching there so I'm not perfectly satisfied so I'm going to go back to my rotate click on there and just click on there and just make those as even as possible so there we go so now I will drag a box over these 
and group them. And I have my template for pop, pop, popping those double notches on so I can drag that on. And then I do need to redraw, but I can keep these templates for next time I use this block or obviously it'll have the notches on already. So it's another method that you may find useful and you can use and you can maybe adapt to other things. If you want to learn more about professional pattern cutting techniques, then please take a look at my course, Adobe Illustrator for Pattern Cutting. You'll find more information and links in the comments section below the video.